Maria was hoping that you would take a walk with her, my dear. So leave the hunting to the gentleman. Hi guys, so just a little introduction, um, just putting a video together about catching the trailing leg as someone's transitioning from side control to mount. I find if someone has very good side control, it can be really difficult to um, get your guard back, even get half guard back, create any space without giving up the options for the person on top to counter. So what I like to do is encourage them to step over into the mount and that's when I, um, I don't try and focus on the leg that they're stepping over because a good guy will baseball slide and very easily shut me down trying to get that um, and then I miss the opportunity of getting the trailing leg. So I allow him freely to get that first knee over and then I catch the trailing leg. So this video really is about my um, the way I do it. Um, this is just a little video of the technique I taught last week. There's just a little bit of a snippet of the class. Um, there is a counter to this, and there's also a counter to the counter. We're gonna start building up the sequences over the next couple of weeks. Um, well, I hope you enjoy. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, if you enjoy it. It's here, which in turn means it's on the inside of his, on the inside of his thigh. Okay, and we went over this Saturday actually as well, but. When he goes to step over, even if he does the knee slide, which is the good shit, he goes to step over, yeah. As his knee touches my hip, my leg goes flat, and I turn my hip to the side. Here. Now when his knee touches the floor, look, as his knee touches the floor, the weight comes off of this leg, which allows me to take the half guard. It looks really shit slow. We're going to have to do it slow. I'm focusing this time. So as he steps, look, I go down, look. Just for the purpose, just go, go to, if I keep my hips flat, he takes them out. Even still, this knee comes off the floor a little bit. But if I go here, now I'm much taller. Also, when I'm here, I'm not trying to push his leg off of my leg. I'm lifting it enough to slide the knee up here. Once that knee clears, I'm going to shrimp and turn in and take this. He's probably going to go with her, but now I'm in like a really good position. Yeah? And what I find a lot of the time is it's much easier to get half guard as they go to mount than it is if I just try to go to half guard, get my half guard back on Steve when he's just trying to hold side control. It's going to be not only possible. It's going to be really, really difficult. If he goes for the mount, and then as he goes mount, that's much, much easier. Yeah? So I'm, he's weak in the transition. Okay? Just do it one more time. Maybe you guys get in it. But what I'm not doing is I'm not pushing with the, the hand. And we'll talk about this in a second. So as he goes to step, drop the leg, turn the hip. What I'm not doing is this. I might be pushing with the hand, but I'm pushing as like a tricep extension rather than like a dip, yeah? So I'm pushing like this to get out, yeah? And the reason why we do